everybody, Dizzy Nails and Beauty here with another set of nails using my practice hands from my Nail Genie. Um, on one of my previous um, videos I'd done, somebody asked me to actually show how I actually attach the tips when using the practice hands. And basically I use a base gel, whether it be from Kira Sky or Glitter Bells. Um, I apply the glue to the nail tip, then I leave it a little while and I tend to try and do two tips at a time so that one's drying it. and then once I've done the first tip I'll apply the second tip and then that goes on and then I'll apply a thin layer of acrylic like I would do naturally but I would not do any filing until this point just because this secures the tip that a little bit better um, because obviously there's no heat coming off these silicon hands so that it can be quite tricky but the trick is to actually wait with those uh, the glue and let it set off before putting it on because you could be there a good few minutes trying to get it to set so yeah so now we're on to the actual doing the set of the nails and I'm coming in using the Tea of Beauty in white um, and we're just putting this down on the ring finger and the tips did keep coming out on this one I don't know if the tips was too small for this or what but they did keep moving I am going to practice using this hand using some other style tips and see if the tips move just as much because this drove me potter and it did make it quite difficult to do this set with the acrylic because of the dragging of the acrylic and stuff because the tips just kept coming out not fully out but they kept moving so it was a bit of a nightmare to be honest I do struggle with white acrylic um, quite a bit, doesn't matter what brand it is, I just always seem to struggle with it, plus with white gel polish as well, I seem to struggle with that as well, I don't know what it is with me and white, it just I mean, does not go really. I'll use, lead the cuticle um, area to last and make sure it's a bit drier so I can get a nice neat flush finish to it and again the colour only needs to be very thin because we're going to cap and clear later anyway and then I'd also do the thumb using the white And then on the other two fingers, we're going to use the Tears Beauty uh, Acrylic in Natural. And we're literally just going to do the same, laying down that acrylic. But we don't need to cap this one, we can build with this one. We could have built with the white as well, because that is actually a core powder as well. Uh, but with the white, I just, because I struggle with it, I use it more of as a colour. Um, but with this one, I do do the whole nail. Uh, and do the structure with this colour as well. This colour is absolutely stunning. It matches any skin tone I've thrown at it. It's, I can't decide between this one and Camisole for my favourite tears, core powder colours, but yeah, this is definitely up there. And it's majority of people's favourites from tears as well. So it's a really good place to start. So 
And then we're going to come in and cap those white nails in the Tears Beauty in clear. I actually did this set as a live on my TikTok account, so if um, any of you want to go and follow me over on there, I do do as many lives as I possibly can. Um, do get a chance to do more on there because obviously there's no editing and stuff like that. The editing does take quite a while to do. So if you want to go and check me out, please do and you might catch me and do some lives and I don't just do nails, I do swatches, I do nail hauls and stuff like that um, on there. So yeah, I'm quite enjoying TikTok right at the moment. Yeah, so if you didn't know, I'm actually a brand ambassador for Tears Beauty, so I actually have a discount code for you, and it's Dizzy10. All links and codes will be down below, so yeah. Uh, then we're going to come in with a water decal that I bought, I think it's right from Amazon or AliExpress, um, and it's kind of had the 80s vibes to it. Uh, once I've put that on, I'm then going to put some base coat over it and cure that in the lamp for a minute or 30 seconds and then apply some base coat onto the middle finger and applying some of the Tears Beauty pigments and I'm using yellow, green, blue and red to replicate the colours that was actually in the deco And then we're going to put a base coat over that to seal all that pigment in and cure it in the lamp. And then we're going to paint the pinky and the pointy finger in a gel black gel polish. I'm using glitter bells here, but any black gel polish will do. Once we've cured that, we're going to come in and do a second coat of that. And we're going to come in using a white gel polish and just put some random lines down uh, in a direction that you personally want. It doesn't matter, there's no rhyme or reason of which way I did this. And then once we've done that, we're going to take a brush with some isopropyl alcohol on uh, or acetone, I think could work as well. And we're literally just going to water down that white gel polish. And this gives the different def definitions. And once we've done that, we're going to cure it. And then we're going to come in over that white gel polish with the Tears Beauty pigments out again. And we're going to try and do like an um, ombre effect. So I'm matching in with the colours of the decal and that middle finger as well. Just using those same four colours.
and then brushing off the excess pigments and then we're going to base coat that again and the reason I use base coat is because it's a lot thinner than a top coat so you don't want your nails too thick so this keeps the thickness down and then we're going to come in with a Moyu stamping plate I'm really sorry I did not take a picture or video what plate it was um, but, and I can't even remember what the pattern was I think it was like um, lightning bolts or something and then it was a little bit big for this stamp plate so I've had to match it up and then we're going to top coat all of the nails Once that they've been cured, I'm literally take the nails out just to clean all the pigment and everything that's on the hands because um, it's a lot easier if the nails are not in because the pigments have got right down below. Uh, and then I'm just placing those nails back in. I did end up doing the thumb separately because just because the hand was a just a bit too awkward to um what's it to keep moving so I was like right I've decided I'll just do the uh, hard work uh, after the other nails so we're just repeating what we did on the middle finger really putting that base coat over that white acrylic and then placing down the pigments And then we're going to base coat them and then we're going to stamp and then we are going to top coat them and then that will be the finished nails so i'm going to sign off and let you continue to watch this so thanks for watching guys and please check out my other social medias down below the links will be with all the discount codes that i have and see you soon bye